Yodel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this ain't going. <laughs> Behold. This is Act 6, Intermission 3, Part 3, Part 2. Bad, 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 bad part. Do not watch. Uh, this is a uh, blatant. Yes, I. <laughs> Look. If you are Babby, do not watch. Bon voyage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, our, our, our. If you're not anime, are you Babby? That's a really good question. The answer is I am not in a position to answer this, unfortunately. You would have to look at resolving that uh, before I could give you any advice. Mm. Alright. Vote now on your phones. If we're gonna be... Uh, I think we actually... Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. That was concluded earlier. Excellent, Tante. We got Horus, the flippin' horse a pony. Horse a pony? Horse a pony? We are now. <laughs> horse. Dear, sweet, beautiful, dear, precious, sweet, sweet, dear, sweet horse a pony. Hashtag nay. Talk to Mina. Hozak. Serious question. BTW? <laughs> Absolutely, you can. Sure, if you just say anything, real quick. TM? Hold along, not to you. Oh dang, real serious stuff here. You, yeah, yeah, I got it. Mm hmm. Oh. My gosh. And every time you did, I did too. What? <sighs> museum, 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 museum. <sighs> yeah, same. I won't either, but it does. Good. I gotta keep a better eye out for puns, because... I... I try, but I'm not very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got it. Imagine a troll who flippin' uses some dumb pun quirk, like just cat puns, but like, in all the most horrible places possible, where like, I don't know, instead of saying... I don't know. Like, instead of in particular, they do uh, particular or some like just really bad. Yeah. Yes, exactly. My point. I am delaying this conversation because I don't want to read anything Horace says. And you subconsciously. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Serious question. Yes, my peerless, exalted eminency. Subconsciously? Oh, yes. Fine. When did you decide you were a horse? Fleet! Oh, man. I got a blow my nose. This was the, um, this was the emoticon. I was gonna link you some Cancri sprites earlier, but since it contained all of his sprites, it also contained this one, which I think you haven't seen until just now, so I couldn't link you it, and said I made you a horrible fake one. <laughs> yes, it was fake. It was not an actual trickster mode thing. It was, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I know! Horrible crime! I'm absolving for it on the internet. 
Uh, hold up there, Nina. The question you just asked was in fact a severe microaggression against those who are stricken with deeply plighted feelings of species dysphoria. Your question was innocent enough, so I'm not about to go down the perilous road of trigger shaming. But, cata but Mina, my goodness, what you just said was catastrophically triggering. Poor Horus here will likely feel triggered for weeks because of your thoughtless question. Hell, even I'm feeling a little triggered by it, and I'm not even under the impression that I'm horse. I think everyone within earshot was triggered by that. You feel triggered, right, Horus? Trigger sounds like a wonderful name for a hoof beast. See? Totally triggered. Now, let's let the healing begin. Oh, so done. Mina, his belief that he is not that he is actually a majestic hoof beast is not characterized by choice. In fact, it is not even a belief. It is a fact, which we must strive to respect as factual, in no small part due to his hyper-important feelings about it. Tailoring factual reality around people's critical feelings is a cornerstone of problematics, and failure to do so can only result in the release of devastating payloads of correctional words deployed to educate, heal, and rhetorically overwhelm. When you asked, when did you decide you are a horse, you implied that he made a choice to craft this feature of his identity, as applied to listening carefully to the fauna within, heeding the call of the long, ghostly snout his body has tragically denied him, whilst feeling the subtle tingling of his phantom heresy, horsey, horsey posterior. <laughs> oh no. So true, friend. Your wisdom truly transcends your degenerate, mildly nauseating mutant blood. Thank you. Now you know how I hate to derail conversations, but I think this calls for a thorough, unrelenting education on the topic. And now I shall begin my crushing harangue on this delicate subject, as thusly. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh, gee, yes. Sneak away. <laughs> yeah, sure, you got it. Let's go check out Horus. Uh, I mean, Matuna. Not that we can talk to him, I don't think, but at least we can open that chest now. Yo. Yep, poor guy. I feel bad for him. You got a priceless work of fine art. You spend a few moments solemnly contemplating the artistic merits of the splendid classical sculpture. Wait, no. Hang on, don't move. The pixel, <laughs> the, the pixelation is missing its mark. <laughs> Damn it! Still not quite right. Okay, hold your horses. Perfect! Phew! Crisis averted! That was a close call! You barely nearly caught a glimpse of a horse penis and began to cry. <sighs> You're welcome. Let us abandon Act 6 and turn Mission 3 and never speak of it again. Okay, I'm gonna do Horus Damara first. Yeah! Exactly! Yeah! Yeah, you got it. I'm gonna do uh, Horus Damara first, cause, you know, that's who we are. It was your choice. My clipping. You're welcome. Hello, I'm cheating and opening your chest first. You got Rufio's Lucis! The poor little guy is gasping for breath. Who could have locked him in here? Who could be so cruel? You glance at Damara suspiciously. She doesn't bother to look at you and takes another drag. Bye, Damara. Let's go talk to Rufio. Rufio's not quite as bad of a guy as these folks. Goo Rufio is Lucis. Oh, Shablomped! You found him! Thank you so much! I was so worried, but now he's back and so are my happy thoughts. Got all kinds of confidence now. Heh, <laughs> you wanna be me? My self-esteem can totally accommodate that, yo. Be Rufio, vote now on your phones. Yes. 
A standing blatant yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh gosh. No, we can't get past Taurus. Yo, yo, Horace, my gangsta, how you feel? Can I get a way gentle fist bump from my boy? <laughs> yeah, just like that. Flunk, yes. Actually, I'm still kinda hurt. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you about something... Something, uh, pretty important. About us and the future and all that. You got a minute? Okay, cool. So, the asterisk, I mean, where do I even start? You know we had nothing but good times together. It's been the bomb. Well, maybe not everything. She blooped God dicey at the start, with my crazy ex and... Yeah, that's not the point. Remember the way you used to be, before you all started being so interested in me? Man, you thought I sucked. <laughs> Just another low blood not worth your time. You were so pissed at people like me and Damara. So angry, damn. She blooped was scary. And Damara, she used to be nice as can be. Don't know what happened there. Talk about a personality switch. For both of you. But then for whatever reason, I guess you wanted to reach out to me? I mean, in secret, I know. You didn't want to be all shamed out of your highbrow CIP club. I could always dig that. I understand, you know. I understood, you know. So you came to my woods, never told anyone. We hung out. That meant a lot to me. I want you to know that. People always had crazy ideas about me. Like I was this brave adventure guy all up in this forest being a bad bluss and shbuped. People like, they always wanted to be with me, or maybe even wanted to be me. It was all kind of whack. Even Damara, when we were going out, didn't really get me, I think. She put on me on this pedestal, I mean, back before she snapped. But you saw me for who I was, which was not a perfect guy. Like, I wasn't really sure about myself, and you saw that, so you actually helped me. When we were in the woods together, you taught me to fight, taught me to fly, taught me to crow. Well, not literally. I mean, I knew how to do these, those things. I knew technically how to flap my wings and fly through the air. I knew how to say bang a rang all loud and if I really wanted to. But that was the thing. I was scared. I was scared of flying and falling. I was scared of fighting and falling. And I was scared of crowing and sounding like a floopin' idiot, I guess. <laughs> But you helped me not be so scared, or self-conscious, maybe. You just helped me be myself. Like, to just be okay with not being perfect, or living up to whatever people think I should be. <sniffs> maybe it's just nostalgia. There was something better about those times. Just you and me chilling in the woods. But then we entered the game. And for some reason, still don't know why, Damara just started getting a little more nuts every day. Getting more and more jealous when she knew we were hanging out. Then she found out it was more than just hanging out, and I guess the rest was history. And yada yada, then we all died, and we've been together ever since. All this time as ghosts. Which is a long time, you know? And I'll always be grateful for what we had together, but I guess people change. Even as ghosts, they change if you give them long enough. They start wanting different things. Oh man, I'm going about this all wrong. Saying way too much, but not what I want to say. Splat. <laughs> I should just use the bravery you helped me understand I always had. Just say it. I think we should break up. Uh, you okay, bro? Oh! I'm sorry, what did you say? My ear valves filled up with sweat and I didn't catch most of that. Oh man, I fucking hate this. Hey, why don't we participate in an enjoyable activity together later? As romantic afterlife partners, we could play one of those foreign card games you seem to like. What's that one called again? Fiddlespoon? Mm, yeah, we can do that, I guess. That sounds uh, dope. I know I'm not the best partner to share your exotic and somewhat childish interests with, but I do my best to try to understand them and enjoy with them with you. The most important thing is that we spend time together and maintain a strong relationship. Bang a 
ring. <sighs> yeah. Dasker Skimmin. Thank god I got my Lucis back. Don't know what I'd do without the little guy. Is he even, uh, real? You know, like the ghost of your actual Lucis, or. Uh, know what? Not sure, doll. He could just be a memory figment or something like that. Or maybe he's really his ghost. When Damara accidentally dropped a hunger trunk on him way back, crushed his little butt. I always dreamed I might meet up with him again in the afterlife. So when I found him here, guess I didn't think about it much. I was just happy to see him. He is my happy thought after all. I can't really break myself to do much without him, like fly, fight, crow, you know, the basics. Truth. I remember when I was young, just a little runt out there trying to make it in the world, people would look at me funny because my wings were growing in, and that really freaked people out, yo. So I got myself conscious and didn't feel at home out there, with everybody eyeing me up like that. So one night my Lucis led me into the woods, and I found this whole baller village of flabuck and tree houses and rope ladders, and I was like, Dastrous, come in! Shouted bangerang so loud you don't even know. That's when I became an official member of the Lost Weeaboos. Hey, okay, so... <laughs> Can we, can we not actually talk about the last weeaboos? <laughs> can that just be not a conversation we have? Uh, Roof, listen, your story's cool, but there's some jungle that's just so silly I can't even try to abide. Matt, this is really bad. I could happily say that we've seen, by this point, at least half the bad stuff, but we're not done. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, they were my boys. I bet a posse you couldn't hope to chill with, kick the shit town troll anime, all that. Ah, uh, for glove's sake, no. First bumped into Damara out there? Crazy times. I think those were formative sleeps for me. Learned to love a lot of things I still do to this day. Between you and me, I miss the days I could just jam with her about troll anime. But now, you know how it is. Okay, why do you stinking nerds insist on calling it troll anime? I gotta ask. Don't you realize prefacing anything with troll inside the context of troll culture is redundant as fuck? Why don't you just call them cartoons? <laughs> yeah, I dig that. Never thought about that. Huh. Deep. It's okay, I get that the stuff I like isn't for everyone. People say it's just for wigglers, and I kind of assumed one day I'd grow out of it, but guess I never did. Then again, we all died, and now we really are all young forever. Human anime? Sure! Why not? Yes. Heck yes, I don't know how. I don't have any human anime to watch. But yes. <laughs> yeah. I've watched two animes. Three animes, and you're right. Homestuck is anime. I did forget, and that's pretty bad. Um, considering it's kind of just blatantly anime all along. Anyway, uh, yeah. I've, o I've only watched two animes in my entire life. And, like, yeah, so. I've never gotten through a second season of an anime, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, fair. Look, what did you watch? Out of curiosity's sake. I will hold all sorts of anime judgmental positions against you, obviously. Oh, obviously! Oh my gosh! We gotta watch Lane! I haven't watched Lane. I really need to watch Lane.
Yeah. Ooh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Someday, yeah. I watched... I watched... I don't know what it was called. Uh, let me look it up. Um... It was, yeah, Magi, the Labyrinth of Magic, as well as the first season of the crazy Badaisy Phoenix Wright anime, which is pretty good. I, I watched Maggie like, when I was, like, seven years old, so it hardly counts, but I watched Phoenix Wright pretty recently. It was pretty okay. It's pretty okay because, you know, it's gay, much like Edgeworth. <laughs> Moving along. Yeah. Then again, we all died, and now we really are all young forever. Just like the prophecy of the lost Weeaboo said. Well, spooky. I always thought that was a load of B asterisk S. Whoops, you just said lost Weeaboos again, thus failing the conversation. In the immortal hand gestured words of the late great Mulan Lejeune, I'm so done! <laughs> there is literally no way to delay it any longer. Now, not that I think that not, I don't think Damara's character is necessarily bad. I have not done any analysis of these characters. What is this? Examine bubble. This bubble contains Damara's memory of a huge quartz obstacle. Only she can remove it. Stinking witch. She never makes it easy, does she? Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Click the map link below the game for hot tips! Yeah, there's a walkthrough. I think. Anyway. Talk to Damara. Um, how can I do this in such a way that I can see the screen? I'm not gonna bother. I'll just have it on the side. Hey, doll. Uh, does this still work? Yes, good. Don't suppose you had anything to do with the recent disappearance of my Lucis, did you? <laughs> of course not. Your accusation is outrageous. Yeah, sure. Like I believe that. Like I'm not so on to your tricks by now. <laughs> Silence. So, are you broke up with him yet? No, not yet. I tried, but I just couldn't do it. It's hard, you know? Do you mean it feels when the lover has betrayed you? Yes, I know. Dastrous come in. So cold, girl. Why can't you let the past go? Anyway, once I actually do get up the nerve to break it to him, don't be thinking this is your big chance with me. It's over between us for good. Kinda of for obvious reasons, so just friends, you dig? Right. We will see. <laughs> yeah, I figured you'd be like that. Anyway, Mina kind of needs to keep going through this bubble. I know you like to make shedunked difficult for everyone all the time, but... You think you could get rid of that big asterisk iceberg thing you dropped there? No fucking way. Aw, oh, come on. Do it for me, Namara? Fine. But you owe me sexual favors. <laughs> well, alright, uh, maybe? Just go. Ta da! Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be Rufio and backtrack so we can uh, play out characters' interactions with Tamara, and then be Tamara and do the other direction stuff. <laughs> so big. 
Yeah, thankfully. Horus Demire first. Their second, whatever, since that was technically the original plan, more or less. Talk to Demire. Oh, hello, Demire. I heard you were having a. Oh, mechanical issue with your chest over here. Mind if I take a look? You can view my chest at any time. I think you said yes? Sorry, I really struggle with your coarse low blood accent. Please pour milk on top of my boobs. I didn't quite understand that either. Something about milk served to you in a particular way? Yes, if you would like some milk, I can bring you some later. I'll just need to equip my steam power to strengthening gloves so that I may hand you the glass without shattering it. No, please do not wear gloves. I like it rough. Crush my body, horseman. I really need to finish my universal translation device so we can have a more coherent conversation. It's just so difficult to get the circuitry to function correctly when one insists on relying on steam power. You, please me. <laughs> you. Please make sure that my genitals ghostly have a sexual climax. You must do it with your phantom horse's penis. <laughs> you want me to bring your what to what exactly with my what? <laughs> Rub your sweaty face on my bare bottom. Mm, I... Uh, sir? <laughs> I'm your Asian schoolgirl. You can reduce my clothes to shreds. You need to please me. Please use your horn. Do you what with your schoolgirl uniform? I wouldn't want to do anything to ruin it. It's quite nice. But perhaps I could craft a robotic avatar for you, emulating your fashion choices. Actually, if I did that, I could install more sensible sweet algorithms so that I could understand you for a change. Be quiet. Fuck me in silence. <clears throat> Go into my body, or I, or I will destroy you. D Damara, f forgive me if I'm leaping to conclusions, but has the nature of your cryptic remarks been leaning, well, a little blue? <laughs> yeah. As Demara talk to Horace. There are no more games, Horseman. Fuck me now. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> I bend across horse pony. You fuck me hard. Horsey style. Oh! I see you've taken an interest in this fine, all the diminutive steed given to me as a gift earlier. Isn't it wonderful? I shall feed it many an apple, and it will grow to be strong! Feed me apple, then grab my hair. You will ride me like a champ. I don't do what with your horns? Ride what now? I can suck your... <laughs> you flippin'... You can fill the bucket, then the contents of the splash, all over my body, then throw me in a pile of hay. You want me to... something about... A? Hmm. I can suck your horn. At the same time, you slap my ass. Do it rhythmically. Also, nay. You would like me to perform what rhythmic behavior exactly? While making what animal noise? Fuck all, fuck my all iterations, cause all of us to experience sexual ecstasy. We try to orgasm in unison. Do what with, wait, all of you? Wouldn't that be quite a lot of Demaras, regardless of the activity you are trying to describe? 
please, wrap me with a clean towel. I must moan like farm animals. Snort angrily in between my legs. I would scream like a lamb that was killed. Let us have our ass together. Participate in the common orgasm. At the end of all that surrounds us. Ch trying to decode your speech is quite agitating, you know. Whenever I talk to you, my system gets a little switchy. I begin to faintly channel an ancient soul from Alterniasia, and a- uh, Alterniasia? Gosh, that's the worst pun ever. And I come very close to understanding you, but then it vanishes just as quickly, and my host vessel is left with nothing but an overwhelming experience of perspiration. Not that I would expect a lowly, rust-blooded singleton like you to understand. Degrade me more. I'm almost there. <laughs> what? Oh no! There couldn't possibly be anything more- I mean, we're not done with, uh, this intermission thing, but y y Good. My roommate got super stoned a couple weeks back and found out you can order a personalized big Toblero? He immediately forgot <laughs> about it until it showed up. Lob Nero to oh what? <laughs> this is very good. Yeah, <laughs> good. Okay, no wait. This is something you can buy. Personalized Toblerone. I need to get a. Flippin' June Angbert Toblerone, then. Personalized Toblerone chocolate bar with your name. Start personalizing. $13? Or a larger one that's like $20? That's not very expensive for a piece of chocolate. That says June Angbert. Wow. Ooh, you can like... Just, here, take a look at this. Look at these... Flip it! You can, like, personalize it in more than just sticking your name there. There's, like, you can stick a photo and a description there. So, like, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. Dang. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Very cool. Oh my gosh. Uh... Okay, my Firefox is ridiculous right now. It has a million tabs open, and I don't keep tabs open unless I intend on, like, actually using them later. Uh, what? Control V, thank you very much. I... <laughs> this is like... Wow. Cool. Okay. Homestuck. We're flipping done. Act 6, intermission 3, part 3, part 2, intermission. I'm proud to say that that is worse than anything that actually happens in Homestuck's act structure. Not much worse, but worse. I think we need to be Mina and then talk to Damara to keep the chronology of this working right. Well, talk to Damara. So, <laughs> where's my transcript translation page? Where is it? Here it is. As Mina. Here we are. Megado! Here we are again. I guess. Please tell me this reunion is as awkward for you as it is for me. Not gonna say nothing, huh? Just gonna stand there and leave me wriggling on the hook during this frosty silence. Come on, you nutty bitch, at least do something to break the ice. Thank 
Thank you. Hey, you didn't by any chance kidnap Night Chan loses, did you? Or steal all his dirty Freddy Spawn loots? I thought we were past this. Don't tell me you're still tormented the guy even after eternity. Take your dual fork. Fuck yourself twice. Do what to myself twice with my double what exactly? God damn you, we had accent as thick as ever. It is not thick enough to give sexual pleasure to you. Will you continue boring me with your words? Or will you take off my clothes? I want to feel my nipples between your teeth. What? You just tell me to bite something, uh... Screw it, I give up. Language barrier me a fucking metaglubber. Ask Damara to join. Hey, so guess what? I'm building an army to kill the... <laughs> shell, oh shell. Okay, see, well... Like, you could give a fuck about saving reality, I wouldn't just be a huge backstabbing liability out there. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad. I think that's basically, uh, teenagers. But, just the shits and cuddles, uh, being sort of wondering, back when we, like, kind of ruined each other's shit because of that whole cycle of revenge deal, and I end up dying in God and it all. Remember that? I remember. Sometimes, I masturbate to that memory. I not sure I follow that, but I'll assume it was more weird skanky snacks, sass. But what I want to know is, after the fight, did I hurt you bad enough that you maybe crawled off and died somewhere? Oops. Like in a quest cocoon? Were you maybe all bloodied up from all those forkins? And then maybe along comes a friend with a maddening inability to hold a grudge against you for the ways you fucked him over. Maybe trodden along in his new robo horse body and swooped your bloody torso up on his ass. On his ass? His fucking back. Galloped off to your cocoon and draped you on the slab while probably not having the nerve to finish you off. Is ringing any bells like the ones in your batty ass fuck goddamn belfry. What the fuck you're talking about, bitch idiot? I'm axing if you are a god tier, you inscrutable fishwife! Holy mackerel, getting info out of you is like prying a pro from a slutty murderous cram. Clam. Clam will not produce the pearl. You do not know anything of the sea. Yeah, I know clams don't make pearls. Look, I just misspoke. It was a hasty burn, okay? Don't be calling out on my authority on the ocean, d -Mag. You know I got all watery junk on lock. Who do you think you're trying to rile up with an amateur noise? You seem to be very angry. Chill the fuck out. Let's touch each other. Please get stoned with me. Oh gee, I can't understand you. Chill out and do what with you? Going to ask as simple as I can. Megato, are you a magic immortal time fairy witch with secret butterfly wings? Yes or no? Exactly how much do you want to know, bitch of water? Demar. If Horrible Conversations was a video game, you would truly be your last boss. Now where the fuck's our and a little windbag stand? Let's just get this jam over with already. <sighs> Talk to Mina. As Damara, talk to Mina. You challenge the Lord of Time. Your pathetic army must fail. 
He will eat your ghost, for he consumes reality itself. I think... It sounded like... You're trying to wish me luck in my upcoming battle? Hey, thanks, Megado. Maybe I had you all wrong! No, you did not. I'm probably being the abyss to you for no reason. Let's forget all our shit ever happens. Hey, how about a hug? Whoa, watch what you put in the hand! I do not regret anything. Apology accepted. Hey, you get around and move in that huge quartz glacier yet? Kind of in a hurry here. <laughs> Technically, I did forget. There is one more page, and it's actually in Act 6, Intermission 3. Uh, that's not quite a game. And it's not nearly so bad as this, for goodness sake. But it would well benefit from, um, yeah. Oh, no worries. From a stream. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. You and Joel, what the heck am I doing? No one told me that this was a thing. Excuse me. Uh, what? Whoa. Okay, fine. Just look at me exploring this game more than I did the first time and finding a flippin' Latula over here. I am glad that they're together. I don't, I don't think you can talk with them. I know that Damara can't talk with them because there's nothing in her transcript about this. Uh, I guess it's just going to be some narration type thing. Okay, I totally didn't move. Welcome back. Yes, it is. I actually just checked. Would you like it? Since it's gonna take a while to, like, you know, do the downloady thing. Would you? Would you like? Okay, <laughs> you got it. True. Uh, would probably mess with connections and stuff. Okay. I think the way this goes is be Rufio. Talk to Damara. And then... Did we already do the Damara-Rufio conversation? We did, didn't we? Yeah. Did we do it the other way around, too? I think so. Let me just make sure. Okay. Thanks. Alright. So, Horus is the only one left, right? Or did we do tomorrow's conversation? Eh. <laughs> Talk to Horace. Uh, we did do Horace. Rufio. 
No, we didn't do Rufio. We did ours. Yes, you would lie either way, and you did lie either way. <laughs> yeah, uh, we did horse. Okay. Be Rufio, Doc to Damara. As Rufio. What? I'm so confused! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, what? Okay. Yeah, alright, oh, that's what happened, yes. Gotcha, alright. Sorry, was confused. We did Rufio's end of the conversation, but not Demar's. Talk to Rufio. Gotta be honest, Demara. I've been feeling pretty bad. Why is this? Um, you can keep a secret, right? Yes, of course. I am your friend. <laughs> Your face next to I am your friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Horus, and you know, been thinking about breaking it off with him. <sighs> what do you break? His horn? Ha <laughs> Nah, that wouldn't do much good. Look, it's a flippin' open world game. It's easy to get mixed up here. <laughs> I mean, I feel like a chump for even thinking about it. He's been so cool. But Dastriskim, eternity is a long flagadagunkin time. I don't know if a relationship should really last that long. How is your sex life? Whoa, uh, <laughs> Kind of personal question? Anyway, that's not it. I feel guilty for saying so. I'm just not into it. So many repetitive dates over the millennia. So much like talking about livestock and big muscular animals and... I don't know, those aren't really my interests. Maybe we were never that compatible and I just never had the guts to say so? Rufio, I told you this thing every day. Forever. I know, I know. I didn't listen to you. I figured you were still all mad and jealous. I was jealous and angry. Right. I just don't know what to do. He is great, but he's so clingy. I don't know how he keeps that up after all this time. Dude's got stamina. I'm just, like, romantically exhausted. You get me, doll? Yes. Love is dead to me. So long ago, someone stabbed me through the heart. <laughs> Touche. But for real, I just don't want to hurt his feelings. Do you want me to kill him? Again? No! God, no. Don't hurt anyone. Let's not go there again. Do you want me to seduce him? Uh, I guess if the two of you are like, um, that's really between you and him. Not sure he would go for that. Anyway, I don't think that would actually help me. I'll bring the devil to consume his soul. <laughs> Man, no, I told you, please don't feed anyone's soul to anybody. You gotta keep crazy talk like that down, Damara. If people knew some of the shadunk you said, it's how you, how you crazy, how you say crazy shablooped like you want to serve him. Fasterisk! Hello, cat, how do you do? Welcome to the place. Meow. It's, uh, 712. 1912. This, um, is not food time in any definition of the means, unfortunately. So, like, you know, like, you're welcome here and stuff, but I'm not feeding you right now, so... Like, yeah. Bye. I, yeah, I'm... I know you're leading me out. I'm not going. It's not food time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're a good cat, though. Cat? Cat? Ah. That was a terrible grab. <laughs> I'm sorry.
Meow, meow. If people knew some of the shadunk you said, how you say crazy shabloop like you want to serve him? Shadunks! It wouldn't be cool. People would flip. Hecknell, didn't you hear Mina was trying to raise an army to kill him? If she could hear some of the things you told me, she'd do sad and can't ever let her find out. If she knew you'd both start fighting again, you will only delay the inevitable. The end of our time is near. Are we done? Are we done? I think we may be done. I think... We've done... No. Oh, man. It's like, we've done all the conversations, but there's also one distinct conversation. I, uh... There's a specific conversation I remember that hasn't happened yet, and it sort of confuses me. Maybe it's... I gotta go looking for it. Yeah, potentially. Thank you. Uh, I feel like it was... From Horace. Where did Horace go, anyway? He's still here. Uh, was this the case? You have an important question. Is that so? Yeah, we did this. Less of a question. And... <laughs> Look, okay? The comic does not get any, uh, blatantly hornier as the fucking text in this uh, Act 6 Intervention 3 part is. However, however, it does get gayer. And I'd say that's quite a good thing. Yeah. Don't worry. We're almost at Act 6 Intermission 3, and then you never have to look at Act 6 Intermission 3 again, unless you decide to, like, I don't know, reread Homestuck or something dumb. <laughs> you would do that. What conversation? Yes. Was it this one? It might have been this one. I think it would probably be this one. Rereading comics is for losers. I gotta agree. Because they're losers, nerds. Hey, man. Oh, still making that face, I see. Did you read this? No, I don't think so. <laughs> yes, I really enjoy making this face. It really helps remind me, through persistent facial discomfort, that appearing to be happy should always be one's top priority. Dang, maybe. Gosh, I can't remember. No, yes, no. Good. This is the <laughs> look. Okay, there was one Horace conversation that I was getting. I, mean, I this is the last conversation in this act in this flip and intermission game, and <sighs> we haven't finished the intermission till we read it. So why you don't find it displeasing, do you? Um, no. It's, uh, yeah, it's all right, Horace. The look is really uh, something else. Wow. Really, I could stop making the face. Mina recently ordered me to stop making it in her presence, and I, of course, instantly complied. I would just as readily do the same for someone as important to me as you. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. But yeah, that's fine. Really, I can dig the look, I guess. Just do whatever you're feeling with it. Except for maybe pointing it at me so much. Rufio, your affable, malleable continues to be your finest quality. It is the jewel in your mohawk, a true diamond in the roof. The 
You always were the ideal embodiment of your aspect, as pleasantly wayward and fickle as the breeze itself. Yeah, uh, thanks. Should probably try to work on that, though. Of course, we always strive to hone our craft, ever pounding at the iron to make the shoe a perfect shape. I know well how much work it takes. N no, I didn't mean, like, be more like that. I mean... Uh, sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. My path was similarly governed by my aspect. For the longest time, I felt as if I was a blank sheet of paper, like I had to make myself out of nothing. Oops. And so I began to listen closely to the void within myself, and corral the various personal attributes I heard calling to me. Much like assembling a complex machine, I began to piece together a STRONG identity, which of course included discovering a passion for mechanics itself. And, needless to say, what also galloped out of the void in my soul was the realization that I am obviously a noble hoof-beast, though my physical appearance cruelly betrays this fact. Hey, uh, Horace, I think we need to talk. I mean, when you get a minute. And in following sleeps, I would keep turning my mechanically augmented, acute equine ear back to the abyss within, and continue to discover more about myself. I would learn that I was more complicated than I ever imagined, more complicated than any mortal mind could understand a person to be. Knowing myself to be hoofbeast kin was only grazing the surface of the pasture, merely skimming the cream for the top of the milk. I was so much more. I think maybe we should, like, uh, see other... It turns out my body was merely the host to a highly intricate system of entities, of any sort you can name, biological or mechanical, sentient or non-sentient, physical or metaphysical. I control the narrative. My inner field of experience is shared by the souls of ancient, legendary muscle beasts, a range of, devi of devices such as hivehold appliances, a number of cosmological features such as planets, star systems, even several universes, and a variety of abstract concepts which sentient beings have not yet formed the language to express. I am just perfect representation. Or something. Like, don't get me wrong, we had some good times together. It's been great, really. But maybe it's time to, uh, I don't know. But as much as I learned about myself, I could never find a way to become whole. The void was never filled until you came along, Rufio. Wow, man, that's... Wow. If there is any lesson I would like people to take from my story, it is a lesson that is a multiple system consisting of two distinct lessons. The first is how love heals all wounds, even ones consisting of the infinite essence of void permeating your entire existence and role as a legendary hero. The second is how if you are faced with any crisis of identity whatsoever, it's really important to do your best to manufacture esoteric features of your personality and believe in them very strongly and tell people about these things as frequently as possible. I can assure you right now, the labor involved in smithing my personality into one that is interesting and complicated was rather intensive. I really worked up a good sweat in the process. Is the sweat <laughs> dripping from my face? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, th th that uh, that's some freaky shunks, dog. Anyway, I apologize for talking so much. You know you have how you have a way of drawing the breath out of people. What were you trying to tell me? Oh, yeah. Uh never mind. Let's get out of here. I gotta be be real briefly.
<laughs> okay, back. <laughs> Alright. I think we're done. I think we survived. I think we finished Act 6. Intermission 3, Part 3, Part 2. Yeah, right. Okay, that's true. Thank you. End of Act 6. Intermission 3, Part 3, Part 2. Intermission 2. <laughs> what a mouthful. We have cleared the way so we can get out of here. Intermission 3, right. Act 6, Intermission 3, Part... Actually, yeah. You're right. Potentially. I do not keep good track of these things. Be mean, uh, We're out of here. I did notice something earlier, though. During, I think, Intermission 2. I guess. <laughs> Oh, is that without? No, that's curious. Okay, so I came here and I noticed Lajula. Yeah, okay. And I was being Damara at the time. Um, cool. I'm not sure. Does Lajula only show up if you're Damara? Looks like that may be the case. Which is funky. Okay, uh, where's Rufio? Where do you go, Rufio? I'm gonna beat Amara to actually check that out in a sec, but I just want to make sure that that's actually how this works. Let's see. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Glad to remember one. Okay. Yeah, fine. Only tomorrow. Let's go check this out. And hope that she's still there. <laughs> Since I didn't see that uh, first time I played, I think. Yeah. It's Matuna! Hey, Dans! If you go anywhere near him, I will fucking kill you! Nice. Wow. Cool. Very nice. Be Mina. Get out of here. You got an East Before and Scroll. It is covered in mysterious runes. If only there were some way for laypersons to translate this absurd gibberish. Oh. Tiny Earl Duck. Yeah. You can, like, reread the thing and its actual script if you like. And Google Translate it, which is what- how it works, because that's how it was written. I wish. No. Unfortunately. Whew. Man, this is a pitch black screen. We're, like, doing some highfalutin gamer nonsense here. Oh yeah! Examine door. Oh yeah! Oh man! There's still some left at this gosh darn thing. Mm, dang, this is just such a big game. Ugh, wow. Cool. Wait, there's something different about this door. You think it might be a real door? It's not someone's memory like the rest of this place is. The meteor must be physically passing through the dream bubble again. You'd love to get in there and snoop around somehow, but the door is password protected. There's gotta be someone around here who knows the password. Let's go see. Who are these douchebags? I'll listen in on conversation. Ah, uh, seems we have company. Guess we should wrap this up. I'm very happy you came to see me. I hope you'll bear in mind what I said. Yes, I surely will. And I'm happy, too. About... Yes. You have important work ahead of you. The legacy of our race is in your hands. I know you will make me proud. Okay, thank you. Yeah, 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 you got it. Ask Kanaya for password. 
Meow. Aw, oh, snap a fish, it's Papa Mary again to marry him look-alike, kid. Why are you ladies glumming about over here? Nothing, I was just leaving. Oh yeah, where to? Back in the immediate, right? Cause that's where I'm headed. Can't get through the door though. Can I get your password? Pardon me? No. Come on. <laughs> Mina, what are you doing? Don't hassle her for private information, it's rude. Come on! I'm being nice about it! Are you actually... I'm fucking smiling, ain't I? Well, I was going in there anyway. I won't give you my password, but you can follow me, I guess. But you can only remain as long as I'm escorting you. The fuck? Why? Because I don't trust you. Aw, oh, man. I'm cool. You should wise the fuck up and start thinking I'm cool. You're right, with a sales pitch like that, I would have to be an imbecile not to crave your company. Hashtag human sarcasm. What you got against me, Marion Clone? I think you're probably a sociopath? I've given enough of my time to such characters in the past. You got me all wrong, girl. What I gotta do to make you my fraud, Miriam, the sequel? My name is Kanaya. I know, Kanaya it is. Some nail come up with a good fish the way of saying that. That's how you know our shit will be tight. <sighs> Just lead the way, I'll be well behaved and win you over. You'll see. B. Kanaya, vote now on your phones. <laughs> yes. Cool. <laughs> Let's stay in touch, Kanaya. Come looking for me in your dreams anytime you like. And be sure not to let that one get too far out of your sight again. Scrunt, damn it. He's got no respect for royalty these days, and I'm not a haddock up to here. Please, you aren't even mad. You just wanted an excuse to use more fish puns. Mary Ann, stop being such an astute judge of character. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, state machines. <laughs> it was a valiant attempt, and you came so close, but so far. Enter password. Here we are. Man, this place is big. I remember being slightly confused by it, so I'm gonna try to be less confused by it this time through. You got a can of Earth Tab! The mayor had a couple of these down in his rags for safekeeping. He has decided to store them in chests now, which, unbeknownst to him, are the opposite of safekeeping. You crack it open and chug it. You are overwhelmed by the intense rush of sugar-free dairy content. This high will surely last for hours. Oh no! <laughs> Finally. Man, I can't believe it. Yeah. Behold! The joke! JPEG. <laughs> How many people read Homestuck from the start and did not pick up on that joke until now? I don't think someone did. Whoa, what the flap is this place? And what are you doing in the pile of horns, car cat? I don't think I even came into this room the first time I played through. See, this is why you play games like pro gamers and keep track of where you're going. The meteor is actually pretty crazy, isn't it? It's like big. Yo. He's just sleeping. Examine snoozing car cat. <gasps> hey, it's your newly recruited Grand Thresh Executioner. 
Looks like he hasn't woken up from the same nap he was having last time you talked to him. The guy must have been really tired. Why is he sleeping in this massive pile of horns? <laughs> you? Good. Look, same. I'm just thinking, like, did anyone start reading Homestuck, like, you know, from 2009? And make it through two years without getting the joke? Two, three years, whatever this is? <laughs> that can't be too comfortable. Maybe you should wake him up. Then as long as he's awake, might as well see if he's ready to pack his bags and head off to wire. Tab is all about sugar, but it's sugar-free. Hold on. Miriam is eyeing you suspiciously. She isn't onto your plan, is she? How could she know? This girl is really cramping your style. You'd try to shake her loose, but as a rainbow drinker, she seems to, seems to have an insane fastness attribute. Whatever you're thinking, don't even try it. What? Wasn't thinking nothing. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Look at those chests down there. Is there any way to get to them? I want to get to the chests. Ooh, yeah, we can go that way. I take it that's probably the exit, so I'm going to be weary before going there. Just in case, I think it's safe to go back, but, you know. Ugh, more troll blood! Why?! As you prepare to lob it into the dark shaft below, you catch a whiff of it. Hold on. It smells... fruity? You guess it was a false alarm. This appears to be some form of delicious juice. You're bad. <laughs> uh, I think this leads back to the... yeah. Cool. This is just the main platform. Yo, buds, what you up to? Oh man. What are you doing, Mina? <laughs> Talk to Dave. Sup? Wait, what's going on? Is the media passing through another dream bubble? Yes. Hence the ghost who is following me. Oh. Hey. What, you don't talk now? You were pretty spunky before, what happened? She is exhibiting her best behavior while on this tour. She's actually doing very well so far. Okay, whatever. So, what are we just not even bothering to care anymore when we pass through dream bubbles now? Like, no warning or alert or getting into our face ashes battle stations or anything? Eh, who cares, actually? I probably won't even leave the room this time. Getting a little bored of ghosts, actually. No offense, Sea Troll. Hornless dirt scraper. Shh. <laughs> so, what were you just mumbling over here before I interrupted you? Uh, just some raps. Been working on my raps. You've heard my raps, right? Wanna hear some raps? Wait, do you know what rap is? Is this fly human tradition where you drop- It's this fly human tradition where you drop a beat and talk hard. If the flow checks out and your rhymes are dope enough, then the police start unholstering their guns. They can't help it, it's like reflex reflexive. That's how you know you're doing it right. I know what your raps are, they're basically the same as the ancient archer art form of Alternian slam poetry but more primitive and generally involving less lyrics about towering muscular livestock. Slam poetry? Why didn't you tell me about this? I don't know. I don't really have much interest in the subject. Yeah, but... It should have come up. Wait, now that I think about it... I remember some weird troll was rapping at me once. Well, there you go. But I mean, we could have been talking about rap all this time. You and me, I mean? It would have come up if I, th I think if we just talked more. Kanaya, we should talk more. We don't really talk enough. Like, really, just... 
Get down to fucking business. Just the two of us? All conversationally and such. Um, really like, flesh out this dynamic. See what's there. We goddamn will squeeze blood from this stone. This awkwardly quiet ghost troll as my witness. If you are successful in extracting blood from the geological material in question, can I have it? Oh man. Kind of semi self deprecating vampire jokes? This is a good start. I like it. I don't know how sincere you're being, Dave. Probably only somewhat, since the rule is that everything has to be at least partially a joke, right? Yeah, exactly. But if you actually want to converse and exchange views on our respective cultures, then okay, I guess that's fine. I might be able to dig up some classic texts by some famous slam poets. Oh man, yes. That would be so fucking perfect. Okay, I will see what I can do. You'll have to read the troll gibberish to me. It'll be just like story time with Garcat. Kanaya edition. <laughs> sure. But you'll have to wrap the words. Oh. Thumb up the bass and slaughter the mic. I want to goddamn feel that slam poetry. Is it too late to back out of this? Yes. <laughs> B Dave. Oh, my dog. <laughs> this is so horrible. Nothing's horrible about this. The only thing that's we're talking to Rose first, but that song is Dave's Bright's theme. Dave's Bright's theme, not Dave's. <laughs> Sup? Rose, <laughs> did I link you that ever? I may not have. I gotta link you it. Okay, one sec. Let me find it. Uh, where was it? Here. Here. Enjoy. You know. They're reading through Hope's side. Commenting on, on a Tumblr. And yeah. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Flirt with Rose. What happened? What? You're not glowing anymore. Oh, right. I became so absorbed in a conversation with my ancestor, I already forgot she taught me how to. Webcomic, yes. Switch off. Oh, so you did go talk to her. Yes. That's great! How'd you go? Very well. She is very nice, and as a person is as impressive as I was imagining her to be. But not nearly as intimidating, really. I knew you wouldn't regret it if you got up the nerve to talk to her. What did she say besides a few vampire-to-vampire skin-dimming pointers? Many things. Primarily encouraging to pursue my prior obligation to my people. Oh. She said she used to eschew her role rather vehemently. The duties of our caste were quite limiting in both worlds, it seems. So she renounced them completely and wanted a different life. But she also said something to the effect that she found that it wasn't really necessary to reject that role completely. And the same is true for me. As long as I know with him that I am free. And if my decision is to embrace my path, then it can be a source of strength. Then you want to try to restore your race again? I had begun to think you'd lost hope in that possibility. It's true there's no orb anymore. She said it may be very difficult. But there's no hope if I don't try. That's true. 
I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. But such is the nature of adventures. You can't be scared of adventures. I think I'm excited about it now. I can tell. We can work on it together when we arrive. Maybe the session we're about to explore will offer some answers. Yeah! Agreed. I hope so. Ah! Oh, clicking the wrong buttons. I hope so. Hey. You aren't permanently deglowed now, are you? Oh no, I can flip it back on. See? Turns out it's just a silly biological parlor trick. Oh good, you had me worried there for a moment. Sorry. I know how you enjoy a good source of light. Light is one of my favorite things. Please don't take these as fighting words, but my aspect is simply the best there is. Ta-da! Be Dave. Talk to party members. Sup? So, can I, uh. Yeah! <laughs> you shattered the ring, but there's more cracks in your wrap. I'm gonna top off your glass, cause devastation's on tap. Oh, wait, no. Your act couldn't suck more dick with a puppet in your lap. What? Puppet? Man, where'd that come from? You shattered the ring, but there's more cracks in your wrap? Oh, does this chronologically come before? See, this is why flicking home sec doesn't make any sense. Your flow's like warm milk that goes good with a nap. Haha, <laughs> yes. Shit, let's be rails, I'll be the shoes to your path. Well, that makes no fucking sense. I'll stick with the milk one. You all claiming to be the lord of time. All you're making me feel is bored with your rhymes. That's okay, I guess. Still feel like I should work puppets into this. No idea why. When rhymes with puppets. Uh Smuppets. Dave, no, that's the same fucking thing. Muppets? What the fuck? The only thing that rhymes with puppets is different kinds of puppets. Well hey uh <laughs> how much of that did you hear? By the tenor of the question, I'll assume more than you would prefer. Oh, that shit was a work in progress. Ain't fit for hype yet. Why you gotta be eavesdropping? I wasn't. I was just standing here and you slowly wandered over in a totally oblivious stupor. You were mumbling your rhymes and walked right up to me and did not notice me until now. Shit. Was I... Sorry, I guess I just got caught up in my raps. Two more! What? No. I can't, those runs are still too rough around the edges. Come on! No, it'll suck. I mean, I could freestyle a bit, I guess. I don't know if I got a live performance in me now. Maybe it could work if someone dropped a beat. Maybe you need a good beat, I could probably kill it with a fly beat. Dum dum sh ba dum dum sh. No, wait, wait. Chum chum fish! But chum chum fish! Oh yeah, that fish beat is a chisel. That's what I am talking about. All right, chill down, motherfuckers. Here we go. They then proceeded to have one of the most ambiguously rated rap-offs in the history of paradox space, while I stood by and regarded it neutrally. Eh. <laughs> 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 yeah! Yeah! You can't! I think technically the chronology of this is such that we be Rose and then we be Dave. What song is this? Load! Why aren't you loading? What the heck? Hello? File system? Thank you. Let's see. Orchid Horror? 
Cool. I thought it might be, but I wasn't sure. Anyway. <laughs> Talk to Kanai. Not to harp on the issue, but... Now that you can switch on and off, so to speak, how often do you think you'll resort to phosphorescence? I don't know. What do you think? Well, which state is more comfortable? I could go either way. I'll probably switch on if I'm walking through a dark corridor. Now that I think about it, it's been a long time since I could even be in the dark. Maybe I'll leave it off for a while and re-familiarize myself with the experience of non-illumination. Makes sense. Was this a biological feature common to other trolls? Um, I'm sorry. I'm really pestering you about this, aren't I? We've never talked about it. I guess I was trying to be polite, but I've been really curious about it. No, that's okay. I'm told it's a trait confined to those of my caste. They tended to spend a lot of time in the brooding caverns, where a convenient source of light was often handy. That part of it makes sense to me, but I have no idea what the evolutionary purpose was for the sort of thirst which accompanies this perk. Strikes me as non-liability, but what do I know? Maybe to frighten brighters away from innocent grubs? Maybe. Or perhaps it was a measured defect imposed on us. To keep the auxiliatrices on a short leash. I'll agree with that assessment, on the grounds that I've always been a sucker for a good conspiracy theory. The condition was often glamorized in certain works of literature. But there's really nothing that great about it. Not nearly as useful as some abilities like the psychic gifts which some lowbloods are predisposed to. Though I guess it's pretty useful if you want to keep the plans you made after someone punches a hole through your gut. I can see how that could present a whole world of convenience. Speaking of plans, doing anything later? Not really. I'm working on some stuff right now, but later, maybe once you're finished escorting your guests around, would you like to do something? Sure. Anything in particular that you have in mind? Not really. Just to hang out, if you're up for it. Yeah, that sounds okay. Holy mackerel, get a fucking room! Eh. <laughs> Talk to Dave. What is up with a fish punk troll following Kanaya around? Seems she's passing through. Kanaya doesn't want her to cause trouble. Cause trouble? What the fuck could she even do here? Like, kick over an old pile of garbage and cause the property value to fall even lower than jack shit? Man, <laughs> this place has too many prices and values. I say let her go nuts! Feel free to take it up with Kanaya. But if you authorize her to flip a bitch, just make sure she's nowhere near my chemistry table. Yeah, can't be dropping your vials and shit all over the floor. The only one who's got clearance to drop science is me. Dork. Don't even hate. Been shoring up my motherfucking craft over here. I know, I've been in the same room right over here listening to you mumble to yourself for the last cu- Listening to you mumble lyrics to yourself for the last couple hours. Rose, you know what sucks. Yes. To which sucky thing are you referring? It kinda just occurred to me. While I was spitting ill verse to no end, I got this weird feeling that I might be getting, like... a little dated? Is this about Therese? What? No, no. Don't be disingenuous, word girl. You know what I'm saying. I mean, sort of passe. Like a lumbering pop reference dinosaur. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Word girl, heck yes I remember that show. Yes I did. I feel like I mentioned it to you. Oh my gosh, did you like it? Word girl was quite neat in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, basically same. Cool. Neat. Very neat want to, like, watch Word Girl with me at some time or whatever. I'm not convinced that the show was even exactly extraordinarily objectively good, but I liked it, I think. <laughs> I 
Oh, yeah. Heck yes. Like, a lumbering pop reference dinosaur? Like, Quants? You know? Remember, we are both kind of stuck in 2009. <laughs> so, I'm like, pop culturally frozen in that period. All oh, my references feel like they might be getting a little stale. Even though the Earth ended and there was no culture after that point anyway. <laughs> but still. I can feel it. Like, in my bones. I just know on some hypothetical level that kept going my shit is starting to get lame, get so lame. And I know it doesn't matter because it's just us here, so who cares? But I care. It's a matter of integrity. I'm a fucking artist. Look, I think if I make one more rap about like some fucking Dane Cook movie from 2008 to piss Karkat off or some tired bullshit like that, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'll just start feeling like a fraud. My game might be drying up, Rose, but it's not my fault. It's like I'm totally hostage to this freeze-dried backlog of cultural garbage that can never move forward again. So I have to make through it like I'm looting a fucking tomb while still out trying to act rap sassy. Like, yeah, take that, motherfuckers of the past. All in your mass grave somewhere in a dead frog verse. I'd be representing some goddamn standards about your media, do you feel me? I'm depressing myself here. All I'm saying is it would be cool to have some fresh shit to work with. Like, just to know... To know what the world would be like in the year it would be for us now. Which would be 2011, I guess? Wow, 2011, really. Damn. I just want to know what would have happened. There's so much shit we were primed for. It was gonna be exciting. Like, Barack Obama just turned president, remember that? We never got to see if he fixed the economy. Remember how you were dying to see if he would fix the economy? You were asking me about it every damn day. Just joking, nobody gave a shit about that. But like, I never got to check out the next batch of Ziller Jams and see how bad I could mock them. We never got to find out how the Midnight Crew adventure ended. If ever. Rose? Rose? What the fuck, man? Why don't you go back to your balls and shit? I was right in the thick of hell allocution. Don't give me that. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, I do actually want you to come back over here. I'm waiting. Fine. Here I am. Wow, was that so hard? This is what civilized people do, Rose. They fucking talk to each other like actually in each other's fucking vicinities. You just have a tendency to go on for a while. I assume we progress to the traditional mumbling monologue stage of Tristridarian discourse. <laughs> no, that's not even a thing. <laughs> yeah. I was actually, like, trying to get your take. Take on what? I don't even know. I bet John would have stuff to say. He's probably going through the same frozen fucking caveman from 2009 syndrome as me. Actually, what am I saying? The dude is a caveman from 1997. <laughs> like, he could go to shit as long as he's got his cage DVDs. Oh, I saw him the other night. What? In a dream. It was very brief, only a few minutes. I waved to him and then woke up. Whoa, what is he doing? He was fighting Jack. Actually, he was doing quite well. Oh, man. You have to tell me all about this. I will. Later, though. I'd like to get back to work. Okay, when? Tonight? I have plans tonight. How about tomorrow? Plans? What plans? Just some plans. Can I come? No. Fuck, fine. Tomorrow, then. Maybe I'll just dream up my own John tonight and we'll have an awesome time without you. What do you think about that? <laughs> F you. Aww. Rose, quit all the clanking around over here. I can't concentrate on my raps. Okay. Uh, duly noted. Uh, we are... I think this is... Yeah. There's like... 
depending on timing, um, there's one more room after this, which is the Aranea room, which would be a good pause point uh, if you're like suffering or whatever. Uh, Rose, quit all the clanking around over here. I can't concentrate on my rafts. What in the sweet religious name of Jesus H. Dick are you doing with all these bottles? Just a little alchemy. Alchemy? What kind of shitty thing are you alchemizing with this crap? Are you alchemizing bottles with other bottles to make, like, super bottles? Hashtag Rose underscore E bottles. No, believe it or not, I'm actually focused on the contents of the bottles. <laughs> Rose E bottles exists. It wasn't used for anything, but it exists. You're a pretty good hike from the Alchemiters. The alchemy I'm practicing is a little more old-fashioned. You know, there was a time on Earth when alchemy didn't refer to a process whereby a large device used game constructs to materialize some idealized versions of an object out of thin air. Alchemists used to experiment with various substances to transmute them into something more valuable. Excuse me. Oh, no! Okay, sorry. <laughs> Apologies. To your ears. I'm sorry. Alchemists used to uh, experiment with various substances to transmute them into something more valuable. Its more pedestrian, scientifically credible cousin would be chemistry, which I guess is the technical term for mixing shit together. Which, strictly speaking, more accurately describes what I'm doing. So, what, you doing science now? Who do you think you are, your mom? Wait, that sounded like a lame burn again. Every time I talk about your mom, it sounds like a burn. Who do you think you are, my mom? Scratch that. Every time we start talking about her as my mom, things just start snowballing down her dumb conversational ski slope, and suddenly Sigmund Freud and King Oedipus start banging each other's hot moms at some kind of depraved sexy mom swap party. Thanks for the imagery. <laughs> it was almost as graphic as it made no sense. So, what are you making? Beverages. Beverages? We're gonna beverages. Tasty beverages, I hope. Apple juice? Please let it be AJ, please let it be AJ, please let it be AJ! I'll see what I can do. I want G! I want G! I want G! Fuck yes! <laughs> Yay! Okay, doke. No worries. Works for me. See you! Thank you.
do you know you can talk, nerd? Yes, I can. Okay. I didn't get to read any of my Rose Rose fic because I was, like, too preoccupied being productive. Horrible. Quoteth. <laughs> now nah, just helping out with random stuff. Uh, and also, also, uh, getting myself apple juice, which was very tasty, and I'm pretty sure that apple juice is going to constantly remind me of Dave for the entire rest of my life. So that's good. <laughs> good! It's so tasty. What's your favorite kind of fruit juice? The answer is troll blood. You got an empty bottle! You guess you'll just kinda put it over there with the other bottles. Boring treasure. <laughs> Alright, cool. Orange juice is quite good indeed. Lemonade totally doesn't count, uh, but you're valid for liking it. It's just, it doesn't count. <laughs> Pick up those chests. Oh, but you gotta. Hey, what even is this thing? Whatever it is, you got it. Heck yes. Whoa, how did we get to the other side? Curious. Hmm. This way, I guess. Through here, do we go up a different set of stairs in here or something? Nope, looks like those stairs. These computers are all unusable. Hey! Is this the computer room? Is this the same place where they were all... <laughs> all computers are unusable. Look, you're right. Is this the computer room? I know they've been here for two years, but like, dang. Neat. I mean... True, it could, there could just easily be a lot. Yeah, I agree that the actual structure of the plates is different, so probably just happens to be a lot of computers. Yep. <laughs> Look! Stairs! I can't climb them, though. I warn you. Take it out. You got a boon back! Okay, you can't even pretend to be excited about this. You get the feeling that whoever was stocking these chests just started running out of treasure assets. You put the phone in item back in the chest, but a little later, Mina sneaks back over here, takes the boon buck, and dashes it in her nautically themed hot pink clamshell shaped purse, which we have never seen her rendered with, but is totally is it something that exists in the most canonical way possible. There, now you know. Ta da! <laughs> yep. I want to go check if it's possible to be a character and go off into the car cat room. I don't think so. Whoa. I don't think it's possible. It'll probably say something. Where are you getting off to? Uh, but I want to try. No, you can go here. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait. Okay, I'm glad I picked Dave because... Heck yes. <laughs> this is such a dumb picture. So many horns. You've always wondered what the elusive juggalo troll even needs with so many horns. You think he may have some sort of problem. Also, what is with trolls and their weird tendency to be found sleeping in horn piles? You can't even imagine a less comfortable place to nap. There are some things you will never understand. <laughs> Yo, Gargat! <laughs> yeah. In that case, you're a troll. Okay, this is just fucking stupid now. What? I'm asleep, but I guess the meteor is physically passing through the bubble I'm dreaming in? And now my dream phantom, or whatever the fuck you're supposed to call this version of yourself, is actually in the same physical location as my sleeping body. I've just been standing here watching myself sleep on the horn pile. It's official. We're- Yes! We've breached a critical threshold of bulge-numbing idiocy. Huh? 
What do we even call this dreaming instance of ourselves? It can't be dream self, because that's already a thing, as in the version of yourself on Durst or Prospect. But that was more like a physical real self, this is just something that happens to serve as a backup life. This is something totally different, like a weird hologram. Hey, am I tangible to you? <laughs> Car cat! Car cat! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It really is! <laughs> Touch me! What the fuck? <laughs> what? Just give me a little poke! No. Don't be like that, just man up and touch me. Maybe just brush my cheek gently with the back of your hand. Something unambiguously platonic like that. No, fuck you. I'm not caressing your dream hologram. You have made really tragically under-inquisitive mind, Dave. This is for science. If science was up to you, humanity never would have come anywhere close to rising to the level of pathetic inferiority was barely able to achieve as it was. You look really tired, man. Your sleep phantom should curl up with your napping meat torso in the horde pile and try to score some Jedi. Gosh <laughs> darn it. I hate this question. Are you tangible to me? You are so tangible to me. Even if meat states wise it's a purely conceptual thing. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, well, maybe I'll do just that, asshole. Okay. Hop to it. No. Not while you're watching. Man. Our conversations can be so embarrassing. I'm so glad we managed to have most of them in private. Yeah. Me too. <sighs> I think I missed this conversation! Because I didn't even know this room existed my first read-through. I'm so glad. Ah. Uh... Okay. Whoa! No! <gasps> no! Don't worry about it. You, you cool? You cool? Uh, okay. You cool? Okay. All right. We got this. We got this. All right. Yeah. Get eggs, use- okay, right, they're down there. Oh yeah, speedrun in this game. Cause we be pros. This is why you make frequent saves. This game actually has a save, which is pretty impressive. And then open the chest. Oh, yes. Wait, what the flap? No, that has nothing to do with anything. Where was it that we do need to go then? With Horus? Uh, be Horus. Get Lucis. Get Lucis. Are we not able to open that chest as anyone besides Horus or what? Huh, okay. I guess that's what that was. I never even recognized that- Yeah, of course. I guess you do need to be Horus to open this chest. Yeah, makes sense. I didn't even register that earlier. Oops. They are the same sprite and all, so... You know. Yeah, maybe. Okay. And then we have to be... R Rufio... 
so that we can be Damara, so that we can open the way, and then we're good. Seriously though, doesn't that sound effect kind of sound like... We've had four intermissions here. <laughs> yeah, a bit. <laughs> I was like, am I supposed to know what they're saying my first read through? Because I didn't know there was like translations. I didn't bother looking for them. Okay, over here. Now get the password and be Kanaya. <laughs> um, a little bit, yeah. I think I looked up one line and then decided to not read the rest because seriously. What happened was, I think I saw the... What happened was... No, yeah, no, what happened, I believe, was I saw the link from the East Alternian scroll, and I looked at that, and I was like, oh, no, no, I'm not rereading these. <laughs> right, okay, we're caught back up, let's be Rose and see if Karkat's there or not. I think that due to the state machine sh just doesn't matter. Much like Latula showing up only for Damara, probably Karkat only shows up for uh, Dave. Whoa! What the fu- <laughs> Oh no! Gamzy! Sup? Meanwhile, only about like 1400 pages. How you doing? You better not let Kanaya find you in here. She still hates you, you know. Oh dang! I'm sorry, I gotta fix this. There we are. Phew, okay. And not in that way. I think she would still true I think she still truly would like to kill you. Yeah, I all up and motherfucking know that already. I've wondered, doesn't it ever get confusing, trying to differentiate between platonic malicious intent and gestures of black romance? No. Like I'd even give a Dayglo chainsaw a bitch like that on my time of day up in any quadrant. Besides, I already got my black rom on with another motherfucker. Being dating somebody in the motherfucking shadows, getting pretty nasty between us, all experiencing the shit out of the dark miracle called hate bliss. Wait, really? Who? Hunk. Kirkout? No. Dave? No. Not the mayor? No. Wait. Therese? Hunk! Are you serious? Do I motherfucking look like I'd motherfucking joke around with a motherfucker? I... I can't even parse that relationship as something meaningful. What? It's simple, motherfucker. She all gets on her hate of me, quite understandably, seeing as to what a vile piece of clown-ass trash I'm all is. But doesn't quite hate me enough to want to kill me. This is a really startling revelation, I must say. It's a game changer. Hey! Please don't all tell it's this noise to anyone. If Karkat motherfucking knew on this, he actually would want to kill me. <laughs> yes, I can see the dilemma you're in. Your social dynamics really begin to get complicated once your quadrants start to fill up, don't they? Motherfuck yeah, they motherfucking do. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Now shoo, back into the ventilation system with you before you're spotted. Zzzz, Karkat said from atop the towering heap of hilarious clown accessories. Neat! See, I didn't even know. I, I literally missed out on this room, and it's like half the gosh darn intermission. Wow. 
cool. Yeah, cause like, eh! I'm gonna tell you, preemptively, that the, uh, Gamzee Terezi thing going on kind of does matter later, and it sort of jumped on me. I didn't even know it happened. Um, and I guess this was the foreshadowing thing that I missed. Oops. Okay, I think we're done here. Where do you think you're going? This is Mina's interactive quest through the afterlife. You can only leave this area if you're being her. Yeah, it's regular shadowing, you're right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what the word is for, like, foreshadowing that's, like, not foreshadowing. I missed this plot point, you know? I missed this beat of the story. Oops. Mikanaya, off we go. Noom. Now, where did Kanaya go? Oh, elevator stack, you don't say. <sighs> Status report. Welp. Kelp. I'm a total failure. Didn't recruit a single ghost from an army. Except for one guy, but he was asleep. Don't lose hope. I know our group of friends is a bit lackluster in the motivation department, but there are plenty of other souls out, out there. You just need to find someone with the right amount of moxie to get you started. Then I'm sure more will follow. Who knows? If you keep exploring, maybe someone like that will be right around the corner. You seem more psyched about my army plan than you did before. What's with the change of tuna? I've started to believe that what you're doing may be important. Just a feeling. It could be every bit as critical as my quest to find the cherub. I think it all could be related. Like legs of a stool that won't stand unless all are in place. Or prongs of a fork, if you will. How's cherub quest going, by the way? Uh, okay. I've still been a little preoccupied. Girl, please. You've been dragging your talking booth around to hassle people with facts, ain't ya? This is my last session, I swear. After this, I promised myself I would retire the exposition stand for good. Maybe I'll put it up for sale and try to recoup some of the... Sub recoup some of the substantial losses required to operate it. Oh, Renee, we are such failures and stuff together. Why are we such a couple of gorgeous and sexy failures of things? You heard it here first! Aranea is so good, OMG. <laughs> yeah. I gotta agree. I don't know, but we can't give up. Once I close down shop here, I will redouble my efforts to find that cherub. The first thing we'll to do will be to figure out her name. It's been so maddeningly elusive, almost as if someone's taken care to scrub any reference to it through a paradox face, whether in memories or reality. She's an interesting character. Alright. Okay then, how about this? While I'm out there fishing for recruits, I'll keep an ear out for clues about her. And while you're out there cheer hunting, maybe you can see if anyone wants to serve the little Candesta in a new slamming new inner slamming new Imperial Army. It'll be... Team Firk. That sounds like a great plan. Now let's hurry this up so we can get started on that. What would you like me to tell you about in exchange for the precious few boon bucks I have left? Wait a sec. Is there something behind this tree? No, I guess not. Fine. Valid. I think bubbles or whatever. <laughs> Tell me about Rufio Nitram. The Rogue of Breath was always a very popular member of our group. Probably the most popular, I'd say. Sort of the anti-me in that respect. Ever the recipient of romantic solicitations, whichever way he turned. Sort of the anti-Cronus in that respect. Oh yeah, sick and poor burn out of nowhere. High five. Indeed. His mutation made him an outcast, though. To avoid the unwanted attention his wings would bring him, he took refuge in the forest among those who welcomed his differences and learned their ways. 
The Lost Weeaboos was a guild of youthful tree-dwelling troll otakus with a zeal for fisticuffs, flight, and various forms of exotic eastern theater. Bane to the enemies of hijinks, scourge to the seafaring classes who... Oh, Not listening to this! La la la! Glub glub glub! Glub 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 glub! The centuries of feuding with the Kamanimi tribes. Glab, 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 la, 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 glab, glab, glab. Ceremonial torchlight yaoi festivals. La, 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 glab, glab, la, la, la. Cindier quadrant vaccination. Glab, 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 glab. Threw down a dagger lance to challenge the guild's high seam for dominance. No, 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 no. Ultimately served like a shonen on Chichuji Island. <laughs> I'm not yelling that loud. Hey, circuit. Uh, how much I gotta pay you to zip your blowhole on this shit so tight you never bring it up again? For such a service, I will require nothing short of the large gold statue in your palace. In palace? Palace! A little Freudian slip there. I think you know which one I'm talking about. You drive a hard bargain, Cirx. But you got a deal. Tell me about Horace Zock. The Page of Void was a self-taught master of mechanics, an avid patron of the fine arts, a passionate bodybuilder, archer, ambrosia collector, and steamwright. A poet, a scholar, a warrior, a lover, he was all that his caste demanded and more. A true troll renaissance man. His name means he who stalks with the muscle beasts. But all of his proficiencies were hard won, built from the blank slate as his aspect would imply, advancing at the slow pace his class would as well. Yet in spite of all he worked to make something of himself, he amounted to very little. Responsible for neither great feats of heroism nor acts of villainy, he was just another game piece to be moved about the board. The aspect ruling his life would always conspire to dampen his relevance. Void is easily the most mysterious aspect, the one which inherently defies its rational understand defies rational understanding. This makes it particularly fascinating and just as frustrating to light players such as myself. Casting illumination upon nothing itself is futile, for to truly know void is to paradoxically cause it not to be. The role of the Void player is to somehow embrace nothingness, to become one with it, and yet in total contradiction with this, to make use of the power it grants and serve a role of relevance, one must find a way to overcome it, to see the limitless potential in the Void, to find everything within nothing and bring it into being. <laughs> hey! What? This is a perfect case in point regarding the path of the Void player. So resistant is his story having a relevant bearing on anything, you fell asleep and didn't hear a word. Yeah, that's nice. Where my money? You don't get any. Your slumber avoided the transaction. Dang. One sec. About Damara Megiddo. The Witch of Time was not always the party's biggest troublemaker. If you recall, you wore that tiara for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Once she was as meek as can be, hailing from the eastern provinces, she migrated across the seas and settled near the forest concealing Rufio's guild. The two of them became quite fond of each other and shared many interests. He secretly began seeing someone else, believing she knew nothing. But she always suspected his infidelity, and over time grew quite distraught. But her sadness never quite turned to rage and malevolence. Not until you involved yourself. Uh, do we really have to go through this? If you'd like to earn your money, then yes. Uh, fine. After we began our game, you quickly determined that winning was going to be an uphill battle with our team. Everyone was so preoccupied with our interpersonal issues, and no one seemed in any shape to be fighting major battles. Sound familiar? 
Deja vu's a bit, Cirque. So you did your best to rile up the crew in any way you could, appealing to people's insecurities, buried hostilities, brewing rivalries, needling anyone you could into confrontations with others. Your theory was that increasing everyone's state of aggression would make them better equipped to play the game, and you were sort of right about that. But the Alternians would prove it, not our group, sadly. The poor girl who took the brunt of your bullying tactics was Damara Megado. You talked up her mate Spitz's betrayal, making her feel even more dreadful, while pushing him further into the arms of her rival, until she simply snapped. She attacked him, paralyzing him from the neck down. You finally got the aggressive confrontation you were looking for. Unfortunately, you unleashed something even you yourself weren't prepared for, and you had to deal with her yourself. After a long, bloody duel, she killed you, and you would have stayed dead if not for me. You never listened to me. You just kept needling and fussing and meddling until eventually you paid the price, and I had to bail you out. Uh, how bad do I even want this stupid money? Damara has been unhinged ever since. By increasing her violent tendencies, instead of becoming an asset in the game, she became a loose cannon. Canon? Arbitrarily showing up at key moments throughout the timeline to sabotage us. So radical was her shift in personality, I've had a hard time believing your incitement was solely to blame. It always seemed like other forces were in play, as if her acts, though apparently haphazard, were in keeping with some inscrutable agenda. Of course, it doesn't help that it's so hard to understand her even on a good day. Strangely, the only time she was eager to help us was when we were preparing to initiate the scratch. And it's a good thing she was, since I'm not sure anyone else would have had the ability to do that kind of damage to the cardinal movement and release its energy. It was almost a little eerie how happily she complied with our plan. What did Rufio say, she said? Something about how we would all finally get what we deserved. Which, at the time, I thought sounded chilling. But there's really two ways of looking at it. One is how the Scratch rebooted our world into a state of pure chaos, culminating in the annihilation of our universe. But on the other hand, we, got, we all got the chance to live our wildest fantasies as adults on Alternia. At least, you and I sure did. And I wouldn't doubt she feels the same way. So? We done? That's it. Toughest five books I ever made. <sighs> cool. We did it. We survived. <sighs> you got an Alternian journal. It's a bit wordy. Though, some of the material here strikes you as pretty risque. Actually, quite a lot of the material. You surreptitiously pocket the overrun diary for later reading. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, like, I mean, there were a couple idols, but probably not uh, coming to more than 30 minutes. So, well over two hours for this. What's going on over here? You got a broken eight ball. You remember seeing a bunch of these earlier. What was the context again? You just had so many long, weird conversations, it's all kind of a jumble now. You feel unlucky just looking at this thing. You toss it in the bushes. What could be going on here? You got the fluorite octet. Feeling lucky, punk! <laughs> It's now 0647. Um, I don't. Isn't it 1847? <laughs> it's okay. You silly American. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Yeah, doesn't it format at like 0647 p.m.? That's so weird! Like, I've got timestamps disabled online. I've had them disabled for a long time, so like, I don't remember, but like, yeah, that is the weirdest thing. 
I guess it's to keep the numbers aligned, but like, seriously? <laughs> What's going on here? Lots of foreboding chests! You got a heap of priceless treasure! Huh, actual treasure inside a treasure chest. Now you've seen everything. You got a pair of rocket boots! Hashtag shoes. What would a ghost need with rocket boots anyway? Can't all ghosts fly? Or maybe that's just dead god tears who can generally fly anyway. Or dead dream selves? Actually, you don't know what the flying rules are and you don't really care. This douchebag! This guy again? Oh, it's you! Scram, kid! Hey, orange dude! Tell me a deal already! I said get lost for fairy! Do not fuck with me! Who, fairy? Alright, I see what's going on here. You clearly have developed feelings for me. I understand. I led you on. Remember when I said bring me a horse and I am yours forever? Total lie! Sorry, but my heart is still set on Friska. She will be my wife. Who's Friska? That girl over there. No, don't look! Shh! Let's try to keep it down, okay? You're gonna ruin this for me. Her? Doug, ain't she a little young for you? No, but that's the thing. She spent like however many years being a ghost, so she's older now. That means it's not creepy. Who even knows how many years she's spent here? Maybe a hundred? Hell, she might even be older than me now! See? Totally not creepy anymore. Case closed. I don't know what you're talking about, but you sound like an asshole. Just need to find the right moment to make my move. Only problem is I lost the ring. John fucking Egbert has it. Doesn't look like he's gonna let it go either, the bastard. Gotta make a plan. Think, imagination. Think! Ugh, the one time I really need you. Yeah, well, I got boatloads of bling. I could sell you a ring. You could? Oh man, perfect. How much? Two. <laughs> Two million four hundred eighty-five thousand five hundred six dollars plus a seven hundred thousand goal. This, I believe, was the amount of money pledged for the. Hive Swap, uh, Kickstarter, which obviously got way more money than they needed, uh, and planned, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's sort of funny thing, there's like all this crazy drama, yeah, evidently, apparently, um, money in numbers anyway, uh, apparently there was a time when like millions of people were visiting, the Homestuck site, a day, period. So, like, yeah. Yeah, I know! It's like, what? Homestuck was kinda big in case you didn't know. And it still is, but, you know, more in the sense that it's... <laughs> There's not a million people visiting Homestuck anymore, it's not updating all the time. But still, it's like, yeah. Yeah, more or less. Maybe not that few, but yeah tried 20,000, but still. Uh... Yeah. Anyway, High Slop was crazy. Uh, cause like, this is when... This is 2011? Uh, when the money was pledged and stuff. I assume around that time. High Slop, Act 1, release date. High Slop... This is, this is, it was done in 2011? And re the Kickstarter was done in 2011? And released in 2017. So, yeah. It took them a while. High Swap Kickstarter. There was some crazy deal. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, this page says it's dated uh, 2012, but I'm not sure. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? What makes you think I've got that kind of dough just lying around? 
That's my price, Pumpkin Skin. You want the ring or not? Alright, fine. Guess I've got no choice but to pony up. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I kinda promised I would use this money for something else. None my biz homes, deal or no deal. Yeah, here. Oh yeah, check the mad stacks. Here you go, lover boy. Thanks. Wait. Is this ring... Did you steal this? From Cronus? For show. Sure. Ew. No refunds! Oh. <laughs> it's John fucking Egbert. This leads to the end of the game. Are you sure you're done here? <laughs> Vote now on your phones. Yes. We did it! We survived! Act 6, Intermission 3, Part 3. Woohoo! I want to see, uh, just how much is left to the intermission. Not much. I want to just check the chronolog. Chronolog. Yes! Let's see. S-A-6-I-3. <sighs> yeah, nice. Only like... There's now... Mm, 54, 37, 54, 90, 53, 99, yeah. Uh, there's like 38 pages left to the intermission, and no very, very long pages. There's one page that's another uh, flash page that I'm probably going to stream, because uh, if you try to side to it, you will not really work well, because it's like interactive in much the same way without actually being an adventure game. You'll see what that is. Uh, yeah, mm, but that's like only like 20-30 minutes tops, I can pretty well just guarantee. Uh, yeah, and then that's the, and uh, yeah, only 20-30 minutes tops for a page, it's pretty impressive contrasted to this. Full five hours, yeah. <laughs> this intermission is long, how... You know how many gigabytes of storage it's using up on my computer? The answer is a lot. A lot of gigabytes. Oh, uh, my computer's being laggy. No, don't do this. Like, 69 gigabytes of computers. Yeah, it's not a bad point to stop, I agree. Files? I don't think there's a way to check how long um, a video is in the file browser, which is kind of dumb. You have to actually open them. FF probe. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Thank you very much. CD tilde videos homestuck. Come on, computer, don't lag on me. Us. Uh, FF probe. Can I FF probe multiple things? Act six intermission star. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it turned off in a sec. No, you cannot. <laughs> yeah, true. One, part one. Oh, what the heck, this is so long, there's so much data here. I appreciate all this, but where the heck is the length? Duration. Two hours. Duration, one hour, three hours. Oh, heck yes, I do. Duration, uh, two hours, that makes it, f what? Two, three, five hours. About eight hours of video for this intermission. How dumb is that? Okay, anyway, yeah, gonna get the stream off. Excellent, beautiful, tastic, just fantastic. What a <laughs> craziness. What? No. Okay. 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 You got it. Tobler whoa whoa. <laughs> it's good is what it is. 
It's very good, is what it is. Tobler wounds. <laughs> Boner. Go on, computer. Don't be like this. At five. I feel like it was there, but I guess not. No! The first one was better! Come on, dork. Tobra Wone is so fun to say. But! But, but, but. Tell me another and I'll rescue myself. That is a promise, Miss Rose, sister. Of course. Another plan. What do you say we cut the chit chat? A hole. <laughs> All these tabs are things I am using. Buff. <laughs> 